And we begin this noon with breaking news. Investors on edge after a sharp drop on Wall Street. Welcome to the noon. I'm Teresa Priolo. Bianca is off. Thanks for being here. Wall Street is following the global markets who are in the midst of their worst day in decades. At the open today, the Dow dropped more than 1,000 points in early trading. Let's take a look at the big board right now. Right now, down about 800 points. Antoine Lewis live in our newsroom with how we got here and what this all means. People are freaking out, Antoine. Also looking at that big board in the monitor, Teresa. Now this morning's opening bell at the stock exchange signaled the start of what will likely be a very bumpy day on Wall Street. Let's recap things again. The Dow opened down actually, dropping more than 1,000 points as you pointed out. This comes after Japan's Nikkei 225 share index dropped more than 12% earlier today. That is the worst single day drop since Black Monday back in 1987. Now, all of this is in reaction to Friday's U.S. jobs report that showed hiring by U.S. employers in July slowed much more than economists predicted. 114,000 new jobs were created last month. Compare that to 175,000 that the economists actually predicted. But this is the third straight trading day that the markets opened down. This, while concern and anxiety, is starting to go up. Market volatility is normal, especially in the face of uncertainty. We've been spoiled by not seeing much in the way of volatility for much of this year. We just saw a market that went up and up and up and got increasingly top heavy. Uh, and so some volatility and even a 10% pullback is pretty common. It's not unusual, tends to happen every year or so. Uh, so maintain that long-term perspective. This is a game we, we play over the course of decades, not days, weeks, or months. So maintain that long-term perspective. Don't be distracted by short-term volatility. Now, in early trading, the NASDAQ composite actually tumbled more than 3%. The S&P 500 and the Dow both also down about 2.5%. That's the very latest from the newsroom. A complete report is coming up at 5T. And we will keep an eye on things. Antoine, thanks. So let's bring in Tess Wearsmith. She's an investing expert and the founder of Wealth with Tess. Tess, thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. So given all of the volatility that we've seen, what can you tell us about what we are seeing today in the market? Well, you know, the stock market has been performing really well for a long time. Last year was really strong. The first half of this year was really strong. And what we're seeing right now is a correction, which is when the stock market comes down a little bit. And that's going to happen. That is something that happens pretty often. I know it feels really scary. And so something that I'm telling most of my clients is that this is something that happens almost every couple of years. And so while it is scary and, you know, there's many factors and reasons why this is happening, the main reason is a global fear of a U.S. recession. And so while recessions are very painful, if we do get to that point, they are temporary. So really important to keep a long-term outlook here while we're experiencing this dip in the market. Panic and fear seem to be the words of the day, but you seem really calm about this. I am calm because I understand the long-term cycles of the stock market. And this is something I'm always telling students that I'm working with as an investing educator. It's really important to understand the different cycles. And so over time, the stock market is going to fluctuate a lot, but it has gone up over time a lot. And even over the last five years, the S&P 500, which is the top 500 largest U.S. stocks, they're up still almost 80% over the last five years, despite COVID, despite many, many things happening to the stock market. So the reason why I'm calm is because I know that the stock market is going to fluctuate over time. But if you're not feeling calm, that is OK. That's to be expected. And I can absolutely empathize with that, which is why it's important to understand that long term investing is really a great strategy because, you know, you'll have to deal with some fluctuations in the market. If you have a 401k or an IRA, you're going to see that dip today. And maybe over the next few months, it'll go up and down a lot. But over time, investing has proven a great strategy to build wealth. We will leave it there on that high note. Tess, thanks for being with us. We do appreciate it.